Now, let's go to this one. This is a bit uh, lighter, so it will be easier than uh, your club swing. So, with that one, we're going to stay in the back here. Aim maybe a space between these two here. Okay. Swing back and forth. Swing back and forth. This is light, so you don't have to use a lot of uh, muscle strength, right? Just let it go. Turn around your body, let it go. Let it go, yes. Let it go. Let it go, yeah. Let it go, yeah. yeah. I can see the ball. It's not on the swing time. I mean, so, you can see it go by. Yeah, as you swing, yeah. back and forth, then you have to maintain consistent swing plane, yeah? Yeah. So, as I see, your motion. In the back swing, you maintain this angle better, but in the down swing, you tend to stand up. Okay. Okay. In the down swing, also try to throw this and then reasonably maintain the axis in both ways. Again, you have this motion here. Hmm. Yeah, so when you don't extend your body much here, then the back swing plane will be more consistent. Mm -hmm. So you go here, and if you extend your body quite a bit here, now we have, you are very, in a very different position. And when you start, you have to use your arm to bring it down. Yeah. But when you maintain the axis reasonably, still it's going around the body, going around the body. Back swing keep good shoulder turn. Currently, this is light, so you don't have to put a lot of effort. But with this, particularly, feel the motion of this light object. But you turn your body and then let it go, throw, throw, and then develop okay. rhythmic motion. Okay? Swing, swing, swing around the axis, swing around the axis, and let it go, and let it go. Let it go, okay. Yeah. So look at this plane here. The motion uh, swing plane is a lot cons more consistent. Swing, swing around the axis, swing around the axis. Let it go, let it go, let it go, okay. So you're not particularly pulling this back here. Yeah? Yeah. So let it go, let it go. Now. Go. Oh, wow. Dramatically different. Yeah, this, this, because it's all up yeah, and yeah. you are rushing. Jesus but here God. you are riding the rhythm here, swing back and forward. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy. So my job today is just to you know, give you a, a bit flatter swing yes. and then also better rhythm. Okay. And then currently the, the back swing position is not that uh, flat, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. And then overall, your swing plane is a bit flatter than your initial. And then for this, you have to have some an intention effort to yeah. lean forward and reach out a little more. Now, with this, let's develop good rhythm here. So let's use the so-called uh, stage three of the step swing drills here. So stay, stay there. So I will uh, demonstrate here. I just got this uh, yesterday. So now I can hold one. <laughs> that was a bit heavier than this. Uh, but, uh, so here, maintain your regular stance here. Again, make sure that you have a bit uh, for the lean position here. From here, throw the club toward the target by turning the body, and instead of using the arms here. Turning the body and then throw this. This is the, uh, the trigger motion. Using the trigger, you uh, have an active action. So, hmm. So trigger, back swing, and the down swing. Yes, yes. So that's the cycle. Okay. Now, when the trigger is weak, back swing is slow, 
Then on the now you tend to use your arms. Okay. Because you, you fail to prepare your body. Yes. So the whole goal here is by having more active back swing, you're preparing these big muscles here. Okay. So all the way down, you can use the big muscles without using the arm muscles a lot. For that, the trigger should be at least this high here. Then using this, you can have an active back swing. So the goal here is having a fast back swing. So, so accelerate on the back? Yeah, yeah. So here, by, by using this motion here, to keep that uh, bush sound in the back swing. Yes, yes. Yeah. So when we hear that whoosh sound in the back swing, the your downswing is not good feeling coming from your arm actions. Because in order to generate fast motion, you use the body. The only down, you also use the body. Okay. Now, the trigger is a bit short. So let's bring the, the, the ball about this high here in the trigger motion. So here, bring the ball about this much. And the, so this has to come from turning the body and then go to this position instead of just using the arms, okay? Yeah. So when you have a bigger motion here, you will have a more active back swing. Ah, ah, ah. So this, should, this is a part of the rhythm. So instead of going here, you have to have a hmm. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Yes, 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 that's the flow, that's the flow. Okay. Now, so with this rhythm here, mm, and then give me whoosh sound in the back swing. Okay. Using good trigger and then give, give us high whoosh sound in the back swing. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's the, that's the overall flow. Uh, give the back swing is too slow, faster back swing. So you, you have to make this whoosh sound here. That's a bit too snappy, so you use the arms. That has to come from your, your body turn. Yes, yes, like that. Yeah, so when you have a good active back swing, on the way down you don't have to particularly use your arms. Because your body oh, okay. brings this actively here, you can start the down from you to also the body. Yeah. And then throw. And then in doing this, always in both directions, you are throwing this, and then throwing this, and then throwing this. Yeah. This is why we're using a lighter stick there, yeah. you know, <laughs> instead of using your club. If you use your club, you get tired quickly. Ah, uh, this time, the back swing was not mature enough. Yeah. So good shoulder turn in the back swing, okay? Mm -hmm. Again. Yes, yes. Now the flow is a bit getting better. Ah, uh, rushed, rushed. Ah, uh, so it was a bit too much in the back swing. So the purpose of active action is to keep good wind up and using that you are coming down. Yeah. And so here. So you should have still motion is fast, but you have a bit more time in the transition. So no rush. Okay, no rush in the downswing. Yes, yes. So, in the back swing, it's okay to have this big back swing here. Okay. So, curve is coming down like this. This is okay. 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 Don't be afraid of having large back swing. When you have a large back swing, naturally you have more time and also you have to turn your body more. And then also you have a longer runway <laughs> to the ball position, right? Okay. So, you can accelerate more. So, there's no reason to cut it short. Ah, that's a bit too much, too much. Mm -hmm. Now it's better. So now, let's, let's do this. So again, since you're a good dancer. So this is a lightsaber, you're a Jedi. Okay. okay. And then, so the whoosh sound responds to the speed. So you're making whoosh sound. And then when you use the lightsaber, wang, wang, wang. Yeah. Okay. 
So currently what you're doing is wing, wing, wing. Yeah. Is that here we're connecting back into downstream? So wing, 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 wing. So backstream should be connected to the downstream instead of wing, wing. Okay. So have that image. So, and then also in the downswing, it's getting stiff. So, let's make it a bit flatter, reach out more. Ah, rush, 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 use the arms. In the back swing to downswing, it was too quick. Yeah. That's better, that's better, that's better. Yeah, yeah. So, when you don't rush, then you naturally use your body more. But when you yeah. rush, then it's on. So this is what you need to practice a lot. So use something a bit light so that when you practice this a lot, it doesn't give you too much uh, fatigue. Okay. But then always the key is, so when you use a lighter when it's easier to swing. However, with this, you have to develop a really good rhythm and the accent here. So, just whoosh sound all the way. Again, give me good whoosh sound. Ah, that was too snappy in the back swing. That's better, that's better, yeah. Yes, that's better. So, remember, this whole thing is a one continuous motion. Even the trigger, back swing, down swing. This is a one continuous motion. Okay. So, mm, 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 mm. Uh, it's a bit uh, more arm driven. Use a shoulder turn, turning your body about the spine axis. In the back swing, in the back swing, keep a good shoulder turn, shoulder turn. Ah, uh, one thing. If you keep your direct gaze on the ball, it limits the shoulder turn. Okay. So in the back swing, if you go like this, then you cannot turn enough. So your face has to turn oh, okay. slightly. So, mm, mm, let's go. Okay. So although your face turns, but still you are gazing the ball using peripheral vision. Okay. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So when you have enough shoulder turn, then on the way down you also start the downswing with the shoulder turn. Okay. So it's easier instead of yes. when you use the arms a lot, you tend to pull it down okay. always. So when you rush and then start the downswing too early, prematurely, you tend to pull it down. Then the swing plane becomes uh, stiff. So again, in, in this, this again, your, your image is moving this around your body, swing around your body. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Swing around your body. So. Mm, like this. Okay. Mm. So uh, this is what you need to practice a lot. Okay. Because we age. We cannot use a heavy object a lot, and you, because you will quickly uh, get tired. Yeah. So this kind of thing is uh, easier for your practice. I, I bought this from China. I got this on uh, Temu. Yeah. So it costs about uh, under twenty dollars. Huh. So I, I got two yesterday. Two more is coming. That's one of the a lot, a lot like. okay. so, there's one more there. Okay. I got that one and this one yesterday. This this is a bit heavier than this. So about 30 gram difference between the two. But, uh, this heavier one will probably be better. But um, always use the body rhythmically here. 
and then the key is moving this around your body, develop good speed. Yes. So your leg actions will promote the yes. head motion here, but also this leg action, head motion. So by using the leg action, you synchronize the club head motion and the leg action here. Then. Although this is a flexible, but not yeah. as flexible, but as you swing this, have the image of a swinging rope, so that yeah, exactly. the rope go around and hit the back. The rope, when you swing it, the end of the rope being like you're saying through the end of the rope, yeah. it's a lot easier to feel that yeah. weight yeah. than this. Yeah. And if I think if I work with the rope and this, I can quickly get to where I want to get. Yeah. And also, even with this, if you use uh, maybe six fingers here, you don't hold it that tight. Then you can really feel the motion of the end of the yeah. stick here. Still we can generate good speed by using the body. Yeah. Yeah. So always work on the, the rhythm. Okay. And then make sure that you have, you reach out a bit more. So maintain a bit uh, more forward lean the position. Yeah. And then from there have the image of turning the body, the body your spine is rhythmically. And then here turning the shoulders good is you know, uh, important. Yes. For that, you have to turn your face a little bit yeah, exactly. so that the shoulder can turn more. Yeah. So as long as you practice these and then put this in the, in the, in the structure. So, uh, mm, 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 yeah. mm, mm, mm. And I think when I move the ball position, I'm leaning further out. Mm -hmm. It takes a while to get that. Yeah. That's so a big deal. So experiment it. Yeah. So intention you move the ball. A different position yeah. and see if uh, what you can handle. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I want to keep. Uh, I'm going to move it away and stay with it for a And while. also, put a, put a camera, put a camera like that, and yeah. then watch your body alignment. You don't want to lean too much. No, but, but it's right here mm -hmm. to the T. It's yeah. a swing play. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. I can get. Yeah. As long as it keeps good image yeah. of uh, turning the body around your spine axis here, then this is. But if you keep it too close here, this happens. So you're not really turning about the spine axis. So develop, develop good rhythm and the feel. Now the thing is, um, the body always tries to tell us something. Because we have a lot of sensors here. Mm -hmm. And then when you integrate all these sensory inputs, then you know what your body is doing. It's called the body sense. Right? Mm -hmm. And also you can have a visual uh, target, so we can use all these things. But basically, you have to listen to your body, what your body wants to tell you. And then you don't mix uh, incompatible movements. So because the main motion is uh, along the swing plane here. So then everything should be pretty much swing plane centric here. Yeah. But if this is too close, then your body just uh, spin around, spins around, then essentially you're moving away from that plane. And then the arms naturally goes up here, then this is okay. But if it goes too flat here, or you are lifting this too much, then again, you are moving away from the swing plate, right? So this motion is not comparable. But if I stay with this and practice with the rope, if you practice long enough, you mm. should get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That then you have good image yeah, of the good, swing plate. Good swing plate. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the rope won't work. And then for, with your club, all you do is just uh, with the comfortable, comfortable body pressure here, and then swing through, swing through here. You don't have to intentionally do this or do this. You just have a comfortable body pressure, swing through, and then just to have a good impact point. Then with this, actually the hand stays a bit lower. Instead of coming down this way here, if the hands stay a bit lower, then you have a uh, lower uh, closing, uh, clo closing rate, rate of closure. So the impact control rate also. Where are your hands at at the top of the back? Is your, is your hand flat? Okay. Even, don't worry about that. No? Because you are reaching to that position by promoting this continuous motion here. Okay. So another thing you can do is uh, mm, mm, by swinging back and forth here, you establish the swing plane and then let it go all the way. Automatically, you go that. 
as comfortable as possible. No need to go like this. No, no need to lift your elbow, then you will have crossover. So we had swing, 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 and then maintain this motion in your hip. So people sometimes pay too much attention to this. My students always go to uh, this position here. Try to go here. This limits when the right hand moves like this, it limits the motion of the club. So you have uh, not sufficient, insufficient uh, uh, wrist card, uh -huh. and then also not picking up the back swing here. And then try to put another effort on this side. <laughs> So, uh, but uh, really, your goal is to, to promote good motion of the end of the device here. Yes. Then your goal is to let it go all the way. Don't, don't be afraid of this big flexing motion. In order to reach this position, your arm should be in this direction. If elbow is lifted, the club is pushed that way. Okay. Then you have a crossover here. But if you just uh, let it go and then maintain this motion, elbow will be positioned okay. properly here. Right? And then when you have, a, when you, the arm is too close, then you cannot go enough. It will, you know, basically stop the club here. So as long as you can do this, that means the right arm is not a limiting factor. Letting it go. Yeah. So always feel the flow. That's the key. Yeah. So you need to. Uh, you know, have a good image. And then also you have to understand the task here, which is moving the end of the club around your butt. Okay. So, so I saw, like you said, kettlebell. Kettlebell. Is that just for this motion right through here? Kettlebell to develop good body-driven motion here. So as a matter of fact, let's try that. I haven't used the kettlebell uh, on the YouTube videos lately, but uh, but this is actually good uh, practice. That's heavy. <laughs> it's a 10 pounds. Oh, okay. So for men, 10 pounds is reasonable. And then in, in this one, as you swing this back and forth, uh, stick in. So as you swing this back and forth here, you have this uh, pendulum motion here. You okay. throw this, throw this instead of trying to lift this up all the way up. Oh, okay. When you try to lift this up, then you your elbow flexes like this. Okay. But if you throw, throw, then you will be able to keep the arms straight here. And then for the parallel motion, you can keep it almost the vertical here. No need to go uh, around. You can hold that way or as if you are holding a grip, either way. But now bring this down and then try to move more along this line here. Throw, 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 throw. Throw. Uh, it's too high, don't need to go that high. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. It's just a develop rhythmic motion. You, you have to use the legs actively. So throw this here, throw this here using the legs. It's a heavy bag of cement. You are loading this to the back of your truck. In order to throw this heavy bag, you have to use the legs instead of your arms, right? Use the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So particularly when this is really heavy, then you have to use the legs a lot. But if this is too heavy, then you put a lot of burden on the back. So I don't want to go that far, but yeah. Use the legs and then move, move the kettlebell using your leg action. Throw, 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 throw. Then your arms are simply holding, right? Yeah. So this develops good body driven yeah. motion with them. So the main purpose of this uh, kettlebell swing is to develop this body driven motion. And then, this is more advanced <laughs> one here. This is called the email Erickson now. Now it gives the plane here. Mm -hmm. And then relax your arms here, just hold it. Your goal is to move this along that plane here. Yes. Yeah, and then again, throw, 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 and maintain that plane. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, do not go flat on that side to maintain this plane. Hmm. Yeah. As you uh, maintain that plane, then your shoulders are, so in the, in the back swing, your left shoulder goes down, right shoulder goes up, okay. and then you'll be able to develop good rhythm motion. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's, that's the main idea of this. And then, now I use this with the, this board here. So, uh, for you, you don't have to uh, use this one because your base is not too flat. But um, so when you rest this on the board, then you don't have to worry about lifting this only. But that way you can practice throwing. <laughs> because it has a wheel. Oh. Yeah, I installed the wheel. So I can use these devices uh, in the lab. But at home, you don't have all these, no. so, so then, then you can use the rope yes. and then a stick like this, yes. your club, and uh, perhaps you may use uh, an orange whip, you know, this thing here. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use uh, different devices with a different weight and a different uh, okay. uh, flexibility. But the, the bottom line is you have to develop good rhythmic motion, you turn around your spine axis, turn, kick turn, kick and turn, kick and turn, kick and turn, your leg action will allow you to turn like this. Kick and turn, kick and turn, kick and turn, let it go. Also big sound. The, the sound or it's, you know, some sort of phrase that you say okay. helps you to develop a little bit. All right. So for example, VJ Singh. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's good. It was good, good gift from your wife. Yeah. <laughs>